The work in progress mural is seven panels um, and the latest seven panels here um, are for the National Portrait Gallery as a reflection of works and women that are in the collection. It's part of a larger project which was begun in 2016 um, and there are now 22 panels that fall under that, that title. To produce this mural we ran a series of workshops across the UK where participants were invited to select a woman that they felt had made a significant contribution to British history or culture. She was an activist during like partition between India and Pakistan, and she was yeah. um, married to like the first high commission of Pakistan in the UK. As like a British Pakistani person, like woman myself, I'm always quite fascinated to see like historically like the sort of overlaps between the two cultures that I'm like quite familiar with and that I call home, I guess. So um, I actually wasn't familiar with her work before this project. So through this project, it was quite interesting to sort of find out more about the kind of things she did and yeah, how that impacted the women who were in the UK at the time. Finding out that she was like the first a uh, queer poet laureate. Like seeing that sentence in school was quite like a shocking thing to me, I don't know why. Um, and I feel like she's kind of followed me on my journey because um, then we studied her for A-level and um, her poetry. Um, and then I think deep down I want to be a poet. <laughs> but I'm studying psychology, which I guess is the next best thing. As a female physicist, there's just like a massive lack of female role models. And to have someone I think you need to dab a lot. like Joanna okay, to yeah. look up to, to be like, you know, like, you can do it. And she's like, she founded the Grantham Institute for Climate Studies, which has like done really, really important work in um, help, like, basically helping save the planet. Marrying woman is Dame Cicely Saunders, who set up the hospice movement in the late 60s, 1960s. And what a great movement it is. Um, I I'm, I'm worked in a children's hospice before I moved here. So um, I, um, I have lots to thank her for. Okay. There's no mistakes in art, but, but yeah. it's really important. It should be just another another language, um, you know, yeah. that, that is encouraged from when people are really young. It, you know, it shouldn't be attached to any sort of judgment or grading for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'd never done any stenciling before and I didn't really know anything about the process. Uh, but actually I really enjoyed it, it was a bit unnerving doing the cutting. As a process it's been, you know, say unusual. So I'm pleased with how it's turned out. When we were thinking about how to enhance our representation of women in the collection, it became apparent that a project like the one established by Howarth and Blake made sense in order to lift women that are both in the National Portrait Gallery collection but also not present. We had no idea of the space, we hadn't seen the mural in its present position or with the uh, perspex that's over it. So it was all a mystery. And then coming in today, it was like an so explosion. Exciting. It was so lovely. Yeah. Oh, it looks amazing. The process is very personal. You know, that when you are involved with 130 yeah. different people, each Experience. head is the story of the person who is depicted, but it's also the story of the person who's making it. So many stories woven through this.